Hey everybody, it's Ashlyn. I wanted to show um, you guys a video that um, tells you how to sit properly in the English and Western saddle. This would be a good video to show to beginners. Okay, so let me get my camera set up. That work. Okay. Alright. Here... I am going to do the English saddle. Now in English, you want to always sit up straight and proper. Okay? And in the stirrups, you want your feet to be right on the inside. And you don't want to have very much in there because it's really easy to get your feet stuck in the stirrups in English rather than Western. And your heels need to be down. So let me fix my other side. And now, you have to be lined up from your head to your shoulders and straight down to your heel of your foot. And also, whenever if you have your feet on the inside of your stirrups, it's easier to pose. See? Maybe. Hold on. There we go. Okay. I think I explained it. Yes. Okay. So that's what you need to know for English. The important thing is, heels down, and you need to be in a straight line when you ride. And Oh, I forgot one thing to mention. Mention. You never want to keep your head high or too low. You always want to keep it straight ahead. Looking through your horse's ears. Especially if you're jumping so you can see the next fence. Okay. And now, as you can see, I have switched to the western saddle. Okay, let me fix one thing really quick. Now, Western is more easy. Usually, people learn how to ride Western first, and then if they get Western, they move on to English. So I'm going to get up in the saddle here. Oh, wait, hold on. Now, in Western, which the saddle's not going to work very well because my legs are a little too long, but it's the lightest one in the trailer, so... Now in Western, you can be more casual, not all prim and proper like in English. Not that I say in English is bad, it's just I usually ride, ride Western, but I love English. Western, you can just put your feet in the stirrups. You don't, they don't have to be to the inside. They just have to be in there. And you don't want to get them too too deep, like in English, else I could be stuck. Man, I need to oil the saddle. It's stiff. Okay. Now, Western's pretty easy. If you're riding Western Pleasure, you may want to sit up a little bit more and hold your left arm inside like this and always look ahead. Now, if you're just riding out on the trails for fun or going to check the cows, maybe, maybe checking fences or just riding out in the pasture. You can sit more like this. And what I like to do is I like to lay my hand on the saddle horn just in just to relax a bit. But um if my horse is being a little jumpy, then I usually do it two-handed and I sit there and always um keep on them. But if he's acting better, he or she, then I usually loosen up the reins a bit. Now, I want to talk to you about the saddle horn. Because a lot of people think the saddle horn is there to hold on to. Well, it's not. The saddle horn is there so you can tie a rope on to it when you're out herding cows. Or other supplies, like if you're on a trail ride. Like an overnight trail ride. But if you do start to fall, 
You can grab onto the saddle horn and keep yourself from falling. But, um, you don't want to be hunched over like this, riding, because then the saddle horn will poke you in the stomach and chest, which that hurts. Trust me, I've done it. Okay, that's pretty much it for Western. Thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Alright, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you. Bye.